Morning traders, Paul here with Gamma Edge. Today is Monday, the 19th of September. Let's get started. Pause your players here, read to the bottom. If you agree, hit that play button. Summary for today, all the signals are still on the cash or short side. Don't ignore them if they turn off, right? If you're exposed to the downside and they start moving up, you wanna start uh, listening to them. Uh, we think it is a possibility for today. Uh, we have a little higher than normal expected move uh, projected, so we can go either way. Of course, this is all paper trades. None of this is a recommendation to actually buy or sell any security. The GAX ratios of the major indices are approaching pretty low area. And in this area, we've historically turned upward. Uh, doesn't mean that today's the day, but it means you should at least be aware of it and it should be on your radar. We note with the Monday expiry, um, or excuse me, Friday expiry of the monthlies, we had a significant amount of puts that were removed from the complex. This allows the call side of the equation to dominate call side gamma and the call side delta. We want everyone to be aware of that. This is a removal of liquidity um, and we think that uh, could potentially weaken the downside. Uh, we, we do expect higher volatility if we slip below those key levels and you'll see that here coming up. The key takeaway is uh, it needs to be replaced one way or the other. Typically we replace downside puts as we move up but that is not a guarantee, of course, nor is it predictive. Two lines in the sand, 4,300 to the upside, well out of reach. Uh, 3,800 to the downside, not out of reach. Very, very well within uh, our grasp. I think the uh, 4,000 strike today, which has got a lot of uh, COI, POI, call open interest, put open interest, um, the JPM sitting at 4,005, et cetera, very unlikely, uh, but it is at the upper part of the range today. Uh, the lower range of 3,750 is within range, but because of that uh, 3,800 dominant level in the SPX combo, we do not anticipate breaking 3,800, but just be uh, aware that 3,750 is in the range. Uh, for today, we're watching a migration uh, towards that 39.10, 39.35 into the close. Um, we think it's uh, tomorrow's transition, at least from uh, where we are here today in the cheap seats. And so I think uh, something to pay attention to, and uh, we'll see where we end up. The market model, uh, as I said, remains down. Uh, you can see where we had a positive, uh, still bullish indicator way back here. The, morning or evening of uh, Monday, Tuesday the morning, the 9.13, and then we reverse that day, uh, indicating to take some of your long profits, start thinking about going short, and then here at uh, circle two, we had a uh, reversal of the signal from an end of day perspective, and we've been riding this down. This is what I was talking about. We could actually reverse if we get a continuation pattern. Uh, from Friday, so just be aware of that and make sure you have, if we continue down, what's your plan of attack? If we go up and reverse, what's your plan of attack? Always have if then set up for both sides of the, uh, the market because we don't know as well as you what side it's going to go today. As I said, the exposure ratios uh, for gamma are all approaching these levels where we have historically returned. Uh, we can go lower, as you can see. Uh, here we've got IWM, I've got uh, the NAS, I've uh, got SPX, SPY, the Qs, and then here is the VIX. And you can see VIX is on the way up, uh, indicating calls are going in uh, in a more dominant way than, than the puts. So what we'd like to see is we'd like to see some of this relax a little bit in the VIX, and uh, we'd like to basically see, uh, as that's occurring, see these start to trend up, which means we're probably in an up cycle, but uh, we're not seeing it right now. And this is all indicative of that. Uh, get, your, get your shopping list ready on the long side, but there's no guarantee whatsoever that we're going to move in that direction. Uh, when we take a look at the OI changes, uh, what strikes us is that we had a significant put expiry uh, which is much, much larger than the, uh, the call expiry in the SPX. And you can see where the distributions were here. We've removed a tremendous amount of downside uh, put structure 
and that needs to be replenished. If it's not replenished, things could get pretty weak pretty quickly. And so um, typically this gets replenished when we head up and these become cheaper. Um, we'll have to wait and see what happens here. If we move down into this area today, uh, liquidity has been removed and it could get a little dicey. So I think today is a little more precarious than, uh, than it normally is. Um, when we take a look at the zeros of the complex, note that we had a major shift downward in the delta zero for the SPX AM. This is the monthlies. We consider this institutional or uh, slower money, larger money. The big boys and girls typically are playing with uh, hedging in this area. And so as a result of that, uh, we're watching this compared to other OPEXs, and you can see that it was a fairly, fairly strong number here. So uh, when we see something like this, uh, it's indicative of a lot of put gamma being removed and, um, uh, or put delta being removed, and we want to pay attention to that. You can also see that uh, we also had a lot of put gamma removed here to allowing the, uh, um, the number to drop, the zero to drop, meaning we have more of a dominance on the, uh, the call side than we do on the put side. Uh, that being said, the SPY, the Qs, and the IWM are all showing this continued downward trend, and you can see we're actually approaching where spot price is below these values, and you can look back in history and see how that is typically played out. Key levels for today, I want to just call out that 4,300, 3,800 level. Uh, we, these are clear lines in the sand, all negative deltas on our side of the table. Uh, 4,000 remains the, the key COI, POI, and then over here at 4,005 is where that JPM is sitting, looming large, uh, expires at the end of the month. Here's the expected move for today. When we take a look at the uh, PM settled, uh, four ranges or four uh, strikes come out at us and, and I want everyone just to pause and take a look at these make sure you're kind of seeing what we're seeing here the key takeaway uh, significant put gamma below this 3905 3910 which we think is material and you can see the other gamma levels all the way on down to 38 now this is the zero DTE when we take a look at the one DTE this is uh, where if we remove today and just look at tomorrow's in isolation, we're seeing a transition zone in this particular area. We like to park in these transition zones. Uh, just be mindful of that. We'll see where we end up tomorrow. Uh, when we take a look at the combo complex, uh, again, 4,300, 3,800 are the key levels. Fairly significant net negative uh, on the gamma. Uh, and this is uh, because we're assigning negative signs to the puts. You can see it really starts here at 39.10, 39.15, and continues down. There is a little pocket right here, which uh, will easily get resolved if we see any puts open opening up here. It'll just knock this into a negative, negative value. <clears throat> Excuse me, below 38.50, 38.55, you can see we just add to the negative deltas, and uh, we just race on down as more and more puts are, are uh, open down here. If that occurs, 3,800 remains that line in the sand. To the upside, very loose transition zone. We think this is material because there's not a lot of support to pull us up. Um, and as a result, we need to see a shift in sentiment. We start needing to see the GEX ratio, uh, basically supportive of calls going in, and we're not seeing that right now. So it'll be very, very interesting. Our early part of this week, especially ahead of the FOMC, will be very, very interesting to see where we go. So that's it for today. If you like today's uh, commentary, please uh, let us know. Uh, if you have any questions, also let us know. Uh, come to gammaedge.us. Uh, yes, we know it's barren. Uh, we're revamping the website. Um, click on the pricing tab, fill out the blanks, come into the Discord. All these tools are turned on, 14-day free trial, and uh, you'll be able to kick the tires, ask your questions, and, uh, and meet a, a great group of traders and investors who uh, have got some great knowledge. Follow us on Twitter at Gamma Edges with an S, please, and then here on YouTube. Uh, if I provided good content today, like me, like that uh, uh, presentation, please. And of course, subscribe. Taylor, myself, Mike, uh, we all provide content and we want to notify you next time it occurs. So with that, I bid you farewell. Make it a great week. Be safe and don't get out over your skis. Hope to see you in the Discord. Thanks.